Hello again, this is Dan with Ledger Support. How are you all doing? Today I'm going to show you how to create secret Ledger accounts by using a passphrase. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do is create a secret Ethereum account. Of course, I could choose any type of account, but for this video, we are going to go with Ethereum. Let's do it. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is set up the passphrase on my Ledger device. I don't need Ledger Live for now. So just go on your Ledger device and go into the control center. Then go to settings, security, passphrase. Then select setup passphrase. Now you've got two options here, attach to pin or set as temporary. I'm gonna choose attach to pin here. Attached to pin means that I'm going to create a second pin code. And when I switch on my device, I'll be able to type the second pin code to have access to my secret accounts. The other way to do this is to set as temporary. I don't personally like to set a passphrase as temporary because every single time you switch off the device, the device kind of forgets your passphrase, which forces you to type your passphrase back again every single time you switch on the device. Attached to pin is just a more convenient option. So I would recommend that one over set as temporary. So I'm gonna select attach to pin. Now choose passphrase pin. This is my second pin. That's the one that will give me access to my secret accounts when I switch on my device. So I'll basically have two pin codes. One pin code that will give me access to my regular accounts, the one we saw on Azure Live earlier. And then we'll have a second pin code that will give me access to my secret accounts. So I want my passphrase pin to be different from my regular pin. In this case, I'm going to choose two, 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 two. This is not a very secure passphrase pin, but it's just to give you an example. I'll confirm the pin. Okay, now here, I'm prompted to enter a passphrase, so I can choose whatever I want. I'm going to make it easy and select Dan as a passphrase. So this is my name, but of course, please don't do the same. And also, this is not a very secure passphrase. Ideally, you want something a little more complicated with numbers as well, but something you can still memorize. So, I'm going to choose Dan. It's asking me to confirm the passphrase, so I need to verify that Dan is indeed the passphrase. I'm happy with it. Now it says confirm with current pin. Current pin is the pin, it's my regular pin. So in my case, that would be 1111. Compare that to my passphrase pin, which is 2222. But this one, the one it's asking me here, is my current or regular pin. So that would be 1111. One. Okay, so the passphrase has been set. Let's switch off the device. Switch it back on. And now I've got two options, right? I can use my regular pin, which is 1111, or I can use my passphrase pin, which is 2222. I'm going to select my passphrase pin so I can go ahead and create secret accounts in Ledger Live. Okay, see nothing is really different. Although my secret accounts are loaded on my device right now, the display doesn't look any different. Now I'm back in Ledger Live and I'm going to create a secret Ethereum account. I'm going to select the Ethereum app, select add account, Ethereum, continue. As for name, I can just call it Ethereum passphrase, but you can name your secret account whatever you want, and then I'll add it to Ledger Live. And now I can use the secret account just like a normal account, right? It will have its own address, and it will just behave like a totally normal Ethereum account. The only difference being that if someone finds my recovery phrase, then they won't be able to access this account. They will have access to all the other accounts, right? But they won't have access to this secret account 
because this account is secured by both my 20 forward recovery phrase and my passphrase. So if you wanted to access the funds in this account, you would need both the recovery phrase and the passphrase or access to my device with my passphrase pin code. Now here's a question for you. What happens if I try to move my funds from my regular accounts while my device is open with my passphrase pin? Now let's try to move funds from my regular accounts anyway to see what happens. So I'm going to try to move funds from my uh, Cosmos accounts. Click send. Try to move on to this address. Continue. Uh, let's try to move one dollar of Adam, and then continue. Open the Cosmos app. So far, so good. It's all going well. And now we're getting an error message. So it says something went wrong. Please check that your hardware wallet is set up with the recovery phrase or a passphrase associated to the selected account. And that makes sense. Since my device is currently open with my passphrase pin, my passphrase private keys are loaded onto my device. This is a regular Cosmos account. It cannot be open with the current private keys. So yeah, basically it's very important to keep track of which accounts are secured by your passphrase and your passphrase pin, and which accounts are secured by your recovery phrase and your regular pin. Otherwise, you might run into this issue a lot. Now, if I wanted more privacy, what I could do as well is hide my secret account from Ledger Live. Click on it, click the wrench button, remove from a portfolio here. Of course, the account is not really gone. The private keys are still secure by my Ledger device but it's more private this way, especially if I'm gonna keep a lot of funds in my secret accounts. If I wanna re-add the account, then I can switch on the device, type the passphrase pin into the device, re-add the account, do whatever I want with the account. Then when I'm done, I just remove the account from the portfolio and it's gone. Finally, I just wanted to share a few best practices when it comes to storing passphrase and recovery phrase. In general, you don't want to make the passphrase too complicated because ideally you want to be able to memorize it so you don't have to write it down on a piece of paper. If you do have to write it down on a piece of paper, however, then I would definitely recommend that you don't store the passphrase and recovery phrase together. And that makes sense because anyone having access to both the recovery phrase and the passphrase will have access to both your regular accounts and your secret accounts. Instead, what you can do is invest into a metal seed storage solution, such as the CryptoTag Zeus, which is also available on the Ledger store, by the way. And then you can memorize your passphrase. So your recovery phrase is protected against natural damage and fire and things like that. And you have your passphrase safely in your mind, all written on a separate piece of paper or another metal storage seed solution. Alright guys, so I hope the video was useful and you'll learn a lot of new stuff. If you have any questions, you can drop your questions in the comments below. You can also reach out to us via email. We have a help center at support.ledger.com. You can click on the contact us button here and start a new conversation to send us an email. Um, the next video will be about how to recover your passphrase account if your Ledger device resets. Uh, this is actually easier than you might think, but I guess it's good to have a video that breaks down all the different steps. Again, if you need anything, please drop your questions in the comments. If you have any ideas for future videos as well, I'll be very, very happy to hear them. In the meantime, please stay safe. Don't share your 20 forward recovery phrase and passphrase with anyone. And have a good week ahead and a very good Christmas. Bye-bye.